hello guys welcome back to my channel to get your follower shadi taylor aka devil crest so guys in today's video i bring to your screen a makeup tutorial like the simplest easiest makeup tutorial you can ever see so today i use my beautiful sister's face for this makeover so i already um cleaned her face and i sprayed the setting spray on her face and now i'm just using the illuminous um dry oil to moisturize her face yeah so guys i use my hand to just like massage the oil into our skin and as you can see you know you need the fan to dry it as quick as possible as well so that's what i'm just doing and i don't know along the line apologies because she had to cover herself up because it was so cold that morning yeah so i massage it and there is my omari code moisturizing um lotion yeah for our face to moisturize skin the more you know you need as much moisturizer as possible you need to make the skin as as much as you can get as long as the person's skin is dry yeah so i use that to just hydrate uh on the high and make it you know a little bit a little bit more oily yeah so that's what i just did and then at each skin prep you need to make sure that the the um the products you need to make sure that the product sits into the skin properly so next i use the omari code primer and that's gold primer also for the, to prime our face so i just majorly use it to prime our t-zones yeah which is our the um bridge of our nose the top of our head our brows you know just those our t-zones basically Yes, this program, this product, you need to use it minimally. You need to minimize it because it little goes a long way, guys. Yeah, it goes a long way. So up next, yeah, it's foundation time. Yes, you heard me right, guys. It's foundation time. But before you know, I was trying to make foundation at this point, but basically, you know, I used Adventure and the NYX. You guys, basically, I'm gonna just, you know, put all the products i used and the shades in the description box because yeah so it's gonna be easier for you guys for those who want to get the same product that i used so i mixed those two products together to get this skin shade that i'm using for her so i just use a flat brush to apply it to like the you know you know about when you need to apply foundation you don't apply it all over the face you need to just apply very little to the edges so that you know when you blend it's gonna blend to the top pass i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but then you see i had to use my settings my setting spray again to make it easier for me to blend i hope what i'm saying makes a lot of sense to you guys but yeah that is it so whenever you are blending try as much as possible to not add product to the under eye because you do not need products there yes because basically the concealer is going to be there and then you don't need because if you put concealer then you put or if you put foundation then you add concealer it's gonna make the on the high look patchy yes so blend 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 after the brush go back in with your beauty blender your beauty sponge yeah so what i do is i i i dip my beauty sponge into more foundation and then i dab or i just beat the face yeah that's what i do so just make sure you so i told her to do her mouth like pout it so that i could get into the parts of her like the wrinkled part of her face yes so if you don't blend and your shoulders are hot then my sis or my friend or darling you are not blending enough yes so that is it guys the honest thing about this look is that mm -hmm, a lot of things went down that day because the kids were just disturbing so much but then i had to do what i gotta do so up next guys i use this um, bikram lip stick palette to do my blush yes so i took the orange shade and i used it as a cream blush for her yes guys so blend 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 more blending you just apply your blush on the cheekbone you don't need too much you don't need too much a lot of my clients here always complain about blush they don't want too much blush yeah so i just try to go as minimal as possible so 
you blend, you blend, 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 blend. So up next, I use that art foundation for a contour because it's the darkest, not really darkest shade I had, but I just wanted it to be because I didn't want. Basically, this look we're going for was a subtle look, not a look that is too like too fake. I want it to be as calm as possible, like as natural as possible. So I use that to do the contour look. So your contour begins from the top of the hair down to the cheekbone yes and then i use this palette also for our for our highlighting for the concealer yes then i also later use um Iga and esther concealer for the inner part of the eye so you're gonna see that in a bit how i made use of that too like i said i would add the link of i would add the names of all the products that i used in the, in the description box so just enjoy the process as it goes along. Thank you.
So you all, if you want to see how I created these brows, you guys, let me know in the comment section. Then I'm going to upload the video of how to do a simple and easy brows. You guys, you know what? This look is the simplest or the easiest that anyone can create. So I just did this, you know, so that for those who aspire to, to do makeup, you know, for just, you know, for themselves or, you know, just to go out and all those things, you know. This is the easiest you can do one. You're going to look so good. Like, so, so good. So, let me know what part of this look you love or you enjoy the most in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you so, so much, guys. See you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Bye, guys.
Thank you.